While there's been a concerted effort over the past few years to help attract and promote women in the cybersecurity industry, the pandemic has amplified the need for more women to join the workforce pipeline. With growing threats of cyber attacks and this new normal of so many people working online from home, the need for qualified women in cyber is soaring. So what does it take to work in the industry? And how can you move into a position of leadership? Angela Hogaboom, president of Women in Cybersecurity Colorado, joined me this week to talk more about the field and why women are more important than ever before. You know, COVID-19 has brought forth a number of cybersecurity challenges in the um, just in the ecosystem that it, you know, it's requiring more people to start thinking about cybersecurity as, as a line of career um, or, you know, families where maybe a breadwinning husband loses his job and, and the wife is capable of, of learning some of these things. And, and, you know, this whole stay at home thing is presenting different career opportunities, you know, for it's a remote friendly type of career. It's, um, it's a, a flexible time because, you know, hackers don't work in traditional business hours. So it's really starting to open a lot more doors for the cybersecurity industry, especially for women. What's been interesting for me to learn is that women can train and learn about the industry. They don't have to have this coding experience necessarily. It's something they really can learn from scratch. Absolutely. I, that's how I learned. Um, I was in technology. I, I went to technology from a marketing background, um, and I, you know, I had certain things that certain projects that I was working on that I was interested in, and I became a technology consultant. And I navigated that. You know, there were a lot of compliance issues and a lot of cybersecurity considerations for every engagement that I've ever worked on. So you know, it, it really is everywhere. It's just. Um, identifying and being made aware of the of the different kinds of the different arenas of cybersecurity that um, that are out there and that are available to to really to anybody who is willing to learn. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you for your best advice about staying safe online right now. That's a good one. Um, don't trust links. <laughs> that is, that is the biggest, um, you know, the biggest at-home threat for anybody right now is um, there. There is a big, you know, shift in mindset, and and there is a great fear um, for a number of reasons and a number of things that are just going on in the world today. Um, and bad actors will always manipulate your fear. Um, so. Be very cautious of any strange text messages, particularly if they are um, if they are addressing COVID nineteen. So there have been a number of spam sites or hack sites that have um, purported themselves to be symptom trackers or um, resource centers or you know things of that nature. And just be aware that you know if you want to know the information know where to go to get that and that those would be places like you know the cdc website the us gov website your state your local state gov website things like that um don't trust anything that doesn't come from one of those websites because that they'll just um you know they'll either steal your information they'll you know get access to your computer if you click the wrong link um or you know potentially scam you out of money well, thank you so much, Angela. It's been a pleasure and please stay safe. Absolutely, you too. And if you'd like to learn more about the field of cybersecurity, there are plenty of online resources available. The Women in Cybersecurity website, that's WICYS.org is a great place to start. On it, you'll find a real community of women who are helping to raise awareness about the importance of cybersecurity careers. From the latest news in the industry to a directory of available jobs, it is a great place to learn and grow.